To more news on the political scene now, the leadership of the PNP is optimistic this evening, declaring that its base is excited and energized ahead of the upcoming local government election. Amid the political excitement, though, is a sobering reminder from the opposition leader of the constitutional work that local lawmakers still need to do. We have more from Dwayne Anderson. Thousands of loyal PNP supporters crammed into the national arena on Sunday and lapped up every word from their favorite speakers and politicians. For party chairman Dr. Angela Brown Burke, the conference gave them a feel of the mood of the party's base leading into the local government election, which is due in a few months. I really was, was pleased at the turnout and not just the numbers, right? I was pleased at the energy and the vibes in the room. I think they left here energized and that has left me thoroughly energized and just ready to go. But in addition to the vibes and excitement, she believes the supporters were also presented with important information to share with other people. What we intend to do for um, SMEs, you know, um, uh, in terms of giving them the same kind of benefits that we have been given to um, the special economic zones. You know, there, there's been just so much that is in it that is really about being people-centered and really about the fact that Yes, the macroeconomics is, I mean, is, is good. We have to work on that. But what is going to be important to people on the ground are those things that change their daily lives. A common feature of the people's daily lives is the search for justice. And PNP President Mark Golding said this is why the country must not miss this chance during the constitutional reform process to move away from the UK-based Privy Council. We really have little interest in proceeding with one and not the other because it's just to me it doesn't make any sense at all and it's a, it would be a wasted opportunity of giving our people access to justice you know this court the privy council came out of slavery and as part of moving forward we need to adapt the Caribbean Court of Justice, which Jamaica helped to design, helped to finance, um, and ha we have a judge on the court there. It's an excellent court. It has been well received internationally for the quality of its judgments, and we're depriving our people of access to justice. So we have no interest in moving forward without it. Despite the obvious difference in views from both parties on where the final appeal court for Jamaica should be, Mr. Golding said he has no plans to remove his support from the Reform Committee unless... we paused our representatives on the committee for a very brief time after the government rammed through that constitutional amendment without any consultation, either with us in Parliament or indeed with the Constitutional Reform Committee, which was just another example of arrogant and bad governance by this government. And we paused our um, participation briefly on that. But once we decided to take that matter to court and file our um, action, which is now before the court, we've resumed our role on the committee. And um, we will continue to participate on it unless something else happens which causes us concern. Dwayne Anderson, TVJ News.